Hello Puppet fans, and welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will configure the roles and profiles. Now let's configure the roles and profiles for the modules which we have created in our previous lectures like Tomcat Java and NTP. Now generate the roles module and provide the common inputs to build any module. Next generate a profiles module and provide the default inputs to create a module. Next go to your profile manifest directory and check for init.pp content for class profiles. Now create profiles for OS and applications in your manifest directory and within OS directory create the Linux, Windows or any other environment. Now in Linux directory create a base profile and give name as base underscore rhel7 or your environment specific name. Here in lab I am using rhel7 node so I will use base profile as base rhel7. Now make entries as class profiles os linux base underscore rhel7. A complete path of your base underscore rhel7.pp file. Now include your modules in class as. Include NTP. Include Java install. Include SSSD. Include PAM. Include MOD. Include SNMPD. So here you can add any module which you think should be part of base profile. Use include function to add any module or class. So except NTP and Java I will put hash to ignore rest of the modules. As we are done with creating profile classes in profiles directory so now move into your roles module directory. So let's create classes in roles directory for your web server database server or for any base server. Here in this lab I am creating operating system based directories just to have the understanding of environments. And you can design the roles and profiles based on your environment so it's not a straightforward recipe and you should have designed it very well for production environments. Now create operating system based directories like SUSE 11, SUSE 12, RHEL 6, RHEL 7. Now go your RHEL 7 directory and create a base role class Oracle role class and web role class. Now edit base.pp and make entries. Class roles. RHEL7, base, include profiles OS, Linux, base underscore RHEL7. Now edit web.pp and make entries. Class roles, RHEL7. Web underscore Tomcat, include profiles, OS, Linux, base underscore RHEL7.
include profiles, applications, web underscore Tomcat. We need to rename the web.pp to web underscore Tomcat.pp. As web underscore Tomcat.pp shows which web server we are using. So once you are done with the changes save the file. We need to make a small correction as we have use app instead of pp for base and web classes so let me correct the class name using move command. Also if you have noticed in web class I have used applications folders in profiles modules so I need to correct that also. Now look at the contents of roles and profiles module classes. Run command cd slash etc slash puppet lab slash code slash environment slash production slash and do cat modules slash profiles slash manifest slash os slash linux slash base underscore rhel 7pp Also check the content for web underscore tomcat.pp and modules slash profiles slash manifest slash application slash directory. Now check the content of roles modules base.pp and web underscore tomcat.pp and modules slash roles slash manifest slash rhel7 directory. So if you compare in base role we have added only base underscore rhel7 profile and in web server role we have added both base profile and tomcat profile. So whenever a role will be assigned to a web server. A web server will get both base profile modules as well web underscore tomcat profile modules. So now we don't need to assign classes to nodes. And profiles can be included multiple times so it's easy to manage the modules and classes with roles and profiles. Ok so we are done with adding roles and profiles so let's move on to next lab for adding node definition.